नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ राघवेंद्र गडे वेलकम टू माई चैनल आर एच केमिस्ट्री एग्जाम नेविगेटर सो ऐज ई टोल्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो ई विल गिव यू अ थर्टी डेज ग्रैंड प्लान फॉर के सी टू थौज ट्वेंटी इफ यू लाइक दिस टाइम टेबल सो यू कैन रेफर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट ऐ कैन टेल यू डेफिनेटली विल गेट सम सक्सेस इन दैट केस इफ यू डोंट लाइक then you can prepare your own timetable you have to read but the target is the main aim is remember you have to read in one month time so that uh, for at least in a day 5 to 7 hours you have to read so that you will get good ranks good rank means good college good college means half of your set life will be settled down so in this particular case if you like the video share the video so subscribe to my channel 30 days time table for kc to 2020 so 20 days for first second puc and 10 days for first puc i have made the reason for that is 42 questions from first second puc and 18 questions from first puc they are going to ask because of that reason i have made 20 plus 10 so let us start with the first day solid state because important chapter and the first chapter so always this first chapter will give some more energy for us and the second day you can continue with the the d and f block elements here after one physical chapter i have taken one inorganic chapter because all physical means definitely you will get bored bored of that so bore agbardu annodak en martini so second day d and f block elements will take and the third day we will go for one organic chapter salpa change irli annodakke hello alkenes and hello reins chapter we are going to discuss in the day 4 solution chapter we will discuss which means we have to read so day 5 we can go for general principles and process of isolation of elements after reading this in the day 6 remember you can go for alcohol phenols and ethers chapter very important chapter then in the day 7 electrochemistry chapter you can read electrochemistry is also very important chapter so give more concentration on that chapter then on the day 8 so p block elements you can consider so in in case of the p block elements mainly remember 15th and 17th group you have to read 15 and 17th group that is must and should then day 9 you can go for aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid chapter important for cet day 10 surface chemistry a simple chapter so you can go for that then day 11 we can go for coordination compounds so 29th of this month coordination compounds important chapter minimum 3 questions they will ask then day 12th you can go for 30th buffer day i have made what is the meaning of this buffer day remember buffer day means in these 11 days if you have not covered any of the topics if you left with you can cover it here or i have given the suggestion that important chapters are d and f block elements and coordination compounds hence you can go for that to two chapters in day 12 as a buffer day some more important question you can solve on that day and the day 13 remembered you can go for buffer day for alcohols phenols ethers and aldehyde ketones carboxylic acid so i have taken one buffer day for the organic chemistry also alcohol phenols ethers and aldehyde ketones carboxylic acid important chapter minimum seven question will be covered hence remember day 13 you can go for that day 14 you can continue with amines then day 15 you can continue with chemical kinetics chapter remember then day 16 on 4th of july you can go for buffer day for electrochemistry and chemical kinetics once again these two chapters are very important hence you can uh, i have taken one buffer day for that the concepts which you have covered which are not covered you can cover it here and some important topics you can revise it here then day 17th day 17th go for biomolecules then day 18th you can go for buffer day for haloalkanes haloorenes amines and biomolecules minimum if you read these three chapter minimum remember around nine question will come across from this biomolecules minimum three question so amines haloalkanes minimum seven to nine question will get it so so day 19th you can go for polymers chapter so that is also important simple chapter then day 20 i have given one day for chemistry in everyday life and if you covered this chemistry in everyday life in one hour then you can go for some other topics of second puc in the same day these are the 20 days time table for second puc one thing you remember 20 days time table so almost you are covering 42 questions of out of 60 always in any exam like cet is it may be physics or chemistry or mathematics or biology out of 60 question if your target is 45 also remember you will get very good rankings 45 marks also you will get very good ranking for that second puc chapter is very very important for you 
so this is about for second puc chapter then we will move to first puc day 21st i have taken some basic concepts of chemistry some basic concepts of chemistry very important important chapter then day 22 i went for some basic principles and techniques in organic chemistry a big chapter this chapter is the at the end of the uh, day that is 30th day so 31st day you can continue uh, some more topics of this andre important en illi bittirtevi adanna alli discuss maadabodu so day 23 remember atomic structure atomic structure so very important chapter once again so definitely uh, one or two questions we can come across then day 24th classification and s block i have mixed because oh, you may get 1 plus 1 classification one mark and s block one mark so hence uh, both the chapters are related first you learn about classification of elements then move to the s block elements so i have taken in the day one day 25th that is hydrocarbons hydrocarbon also very important chapter so cover the, all those concepts in that particular day then day 26 you can go for chemical bonding chemical bonding is also minimum two questions you can come across in cet exam so very important for you and day 27 you can go for states of matter and hydrogen so states of matter and hydrogen it is not that much important chapter hence i have taken both chapter have mixed here then day 28th remember thermodynamics and redox reaction so according to me thermodynamics is not that much important for uh, cet exam hence i have mixed with redox reaction chapter here then day 29th you can go for p block elements and chemistry in your life so first puc p block element it is first puc p block element and chemist navid life so that 29th day you can complete then 30th day i have taken very important chapter so that is equilibrium i have taken this uh, equilibrium chapter on the day 30th because equilibrium is a very a big chapter physical chemical ionic equilibrium important question they can ask so if you are not covered any of the topic at on this day you can continue with the next day 31st day also and the 19th july also you can continue so remember in between you will have je exam those who are preparing for je also you can have a two three days you can keep it for that je exam then you can continue with this so hence i have kept around 18th it is completed but after 18th remember till 29th i have kept those days for so how many days left 11 days left total right so those 11 days i have kept it for solving mock test papers so remember uh, these days are very very important solving previous year papers and also mock test paper if possible i am going to give you a mock test paper i am going to solve those papers uh, at least some uh, three to four papers i will solve in youtube videos that also you can refer so take any particular cet books and uh, solve these questions that is very very important for your uh, preparation so happy solving my dear students if you have any doubts regarding chemistry as i told i have given my whatsapp number in the last video you can refer that save that and just send a snapshot of that so that in chemistry i am here to help you right so thank you for watching so like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day